You are listening to MySweetFM.com. You're locked in to MySweetFM.com. You're listening to MySweetFM.com. Listen to my program, Ancient of Days Outreach Bible Ministry, by Deaconess Juliet Amos at MySweetFM.com every Tuesday from 6.30 to 7.30 p.m. To listen live in the U.S., call 605-475-5848. In the U.K., call 0330-3326-335 or at 97.5 FM that you can download on iTunes. Just search for My Sweet FM. To speak to me live, call 020-351-97611 and 07-555-988-739 to text me at 6077 You love Jesus, you love God Check out the baddest radio station on the planet MySweetFM.com Great music and programs 24 hours a day Listen in by dialing 605-475-5843 in the U.S. And 033-332-6335 in the United Kingdom at no cost Win on contract It's your music, your way, every day Catch the top internet radio station MySweetFM Hosted by DJ Murphy The request lines are open Just text Sweet FM FM request to 60777. Looking for some great advertising? Contact us today at 020-351-96900 for some amazing advertising packages. MySweetFM.com is radio the way you like it with style, attitude, and fresh new music. Let Steffi Popcorn add color to all your events. Whether it's for weddings, birthdays, funerals, coronation ceremonies, seminars and conferences, any form of event, invite us to thrill your guests with the fresh, nutritious, delicious and crispy taste of Steffi Popcorn. You'll be glad you did. We are the number one popcorn for events. Call us at 080-600-91804 or 081-201-20002 or like us us on Facebook at Steffi Africana Foods. Follow us on Twitter at Steffi Africana or simply email us at Steffi Africana at gmail.com for more details. Listen to my program, Ancient of Days Outreach Bible Ministry, by Deaconess Juliet Amos at MySweetFM.com every Tuesday from 6.30 to 7.30 p.m. To listen live in the U.S., call 605-475-5848. In the U.K., call 0330-3326-335 or at 97.5 FM that you can download on iTunes. Just search for My Sweet FM. To speak to me live, call 020-351-97611 020-351-97611 and 07-555-988-739 to text me at 6077. You love Jesus, you love God. Ladies and gentlemen, you're invited to listen to DJ Murphy on MySweetFM.com. It's the UK's best new radio station, playing great music from all around the globe. Download their amazing TuneIn app and take this show and station with you. Broadcasting live 24-7, 365. Call into the show, tell us what you think. Hey artists, send in your music tracks and we will play them on the station. That's MySweetFM.com. The Internet Show with Style. Listen live from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. every Saturday. It's a great show, great music, and great fun. That's MySweetFM.com. Listen to my program, Ancient of Days Outreach Bible Ministry, by Deaconess Juliet Amos at MySweetFM.com every Tuesday from 6.30 to 7.30 p.m. To listen live in the U.S., call 605-475-5848. In the U.K., call 0330-3326-335 or at 97.5 FM that you can download on iTunes. Just search for My Sweet FM. To speak to me live, call 020-351-97611 and 07-555-988-739 to text me at 6077. You love Jesus, you love God.
grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. At the time my God making mention of thee always in my prayers. Today is another day. I am here again. My name is Prophet Juliet Amos. I come in the name of the Lord Jesus to speak to you today again. I thank you all. I give God glory that you are always listening to me. Uh, today's program is going to be, Are You Living a Christian Life? Are you living a Christian life? Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, as we go into your word today, Father, O oh Lord, come and speak through me. And every ear that we hear and listen to me today, Father, grant them the heart to walk towards you. Continue to bless us all in the mighty name of Jesus. Continue to bless this company, up, uplift them in the mighty name of Jesus. Once more, thank you all. Today's topic again, I said, are you living a Christian life? Yes, let us go to Proverbs Proverb 30, Proverb 30, and see what the Bible said. Because if I ask you, are you living a Christian life? What will you say? Everyone will say yes, including myself. I will say yes, I'm living a Christian life. Why? Yeah, I go to church every Sunday, during the week, every service. I, I worship, we sing, we dance, I contribute money, I pay my tithe. Yeah, I'm living a Christian life. Is that all? Is that what the Lord demands from you or demands from me? Is that the way of Lord? Is that the way of God? Is that the living? Is that how to live a Christian life? Is that the love God said? Is that how our Lord said you should be holy? You should be perfect in your conversation, in everything in your life. Is that enough to walk with God? Proverbs 30, verse 12 to 13. Proverbs 30 said, There is a generation that are pure in their own eyes, and yet is not washed from their fitness. They are like me and you. We say yes. This proverb answered the question, are you living a, a Christian life? Everyone say yes. Proverb 30, 12 said, once again, there is a generation that are pure in their own eyes, and yet is not washed from their fitness. Yet we have, we have not been washed from our fitness. As we go on, we're going to see what is the fitness we are. There is a generation, oh, how lofty are their eyes, and their eyes lids are lifted up. He said, our eyes lids are lifted up. We did not walk in the way of the Lord. And we said, set your affection on things above, not on things on the head. For ye are dead, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is our life, shall appear, then shall ye also appear with him in glory. Mortify therefore your member, which are upon the head, fornication, uncleanness, inordinate affection, evil, evil consumptions, and covetousness, which is idolatry. For which things sake that the wrath of God comment on the children of disobedience. Indeed, which ye also walk some time when ye live in them. But now ye also put off all this anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy. Filthy communication of your mouth, lie not to one to another, seeing that ye have put off the old man with his deed, and have put on the new man which renew in knowledge, after image of him that created him, where there is neither Greek nor Jew, circumcision nor all circumcision, barbarian, since he bold nor free, but cry is in her, and in her. Put on therefore as the elect of God, holy and beloved, bowers of mercy, kindness, human, uh, humanity of mind, meekness, long suffering, forbearing one another, and forgiving one another. If any man have a quarrel against any even as Christ forgive you, so also do ye. And above all these things, put on charity, which is the bond of perfect, perfectness. And let the peace of God rule in your heart, 
to the, to the which also ye are called in one body, and be ye thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. said, we are living a, a Christian life. If you say you live a Christian life, and you, and you did not walk in the way of God, you did not do according to what God said you should do, you, sh you did not listen to God, you are not perfect in your way, you are not holy in your conversation. When free three words come out of you, the Bible said, how can you say you live in the life, a li a living as a Christian life? Living as a Christian life means that you totally surrender, you are doing the will of God, you, uh, you, people can see it in you, in your character, in your conversation, in your behaviors. People around you, far away, people listening to you when you talk in the public, when you are in the midst of the children of the law, when they hear what is coming out of you, that shows that you are living a Christian life. When you give some, when you donate, when you, that is not enough to say you are living a Christian life. Colossians chapter, chapter 3 from verse 1 to 16. Verse 1 said, If you then be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ seated on the right hand of God. If ye, do you listen to what he said? If you then be risen with Christ, and he said, seek those things which are above, where Christ seated on the right hand. Seek those things that is, those things, the way of the Lord. You're not fighting at home, your neighbors around, uh, is free to war not coming out of you. Let us see First Peter. First Peter chapter 1, verse 18. First Peter chapter 1, verse 18 says, For as much as you know that ye were not redeemed with corruptible things, as silver and gold, from your vain conversation received by tradition from your father. You see, as from, for as much as you know that you were not redeemed with corruptible, corruptible things, corruptible as silver and gold, from your vain conversation, vain conversation that the word that used to come out of you, 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 like conversation is when you were talking to people when you, your word that come when you say you are a child of God and the, the word of God is not in you we cannot see it in your behaviors, in your character in your ways, then why do you say you are living a Christian life contributing money or donating money is not enough to say you are living a Christian life but the, your ways how you walk, how you talk how you behave how you love people, how you love God, how you communicate, that shows that you are living a Christian life. A true love, a true heart, a, a convinced heart that people will see you, that we, they will say yes. I, uh, first, Peter, first Peter, verse 15 also said, But as he which has called you is holy, so be ye holy in all manner of conversation. In all manner of conversation, that is, Every word that come out of you, conversation, communication, it should be full, filled with the word of God, with the love of God. Let people know that God is living in you. And by the time the conversation of your mouth is of God, then Christ will be living in your heart. And the Holy Spirit will be directing you. No free tree world. You cannot say you are holy when your conversation is not holy. You cannot say you, you, are, you, are, you, are, you, are, you are living a Christian life when, you, when people see you, when they cannot point, when they say, oh, yesterday, is she not the one that do this? Is she not the one that said this? When you see uh, your member coming, you are the one that say, mm, mm, look at her. Uh, by the time he comes to you, you say, hello, welcome, ma. Before you turn back, you start, to, you start to say another thing, which means the conversation of your mouth is not holy. The conversation in you is not holy. What can we say that will make you to be holy in the presence of God when you did not walk in the way of God? Let us continue this Colossians chapter 3. It says, set your affection on things above, not on things on this earth. You are on things above. First Peter chapter 2 verse 1 say, Wherefore laying aside all malice and all go and hypocrisy and envies and the right thing that the Bible say you have to feed the Levi, you have to build the church of God. It, the church is not the world, it is you. Christ cannot live in the world. Christ can only live in you, in your heart. 
uh, once more, I mean, uh, I'm live now at uh, 97.5 FM radio. If you want to watch live now, you can go to YouTube. Or you want to watch live, you can go to www.mysweetfm.com or download TuneIn and search for mysweetfm.com and you watch live. To listen live also and calling in USA, C054 I repeat, in USA, to listen live by calling you C054 and to listen 755 You see, according to the word of God, say, search your let set your affection on things above, not on things of this. For ye are dead, and your life is hid with Christ in God. Let your affection be on things that is in it. First Peter two ten said. First Peter two ten said. Let us see what the Bible said. Which in time past were not a people, but are now the people of God, which had not obtained mercy, but now have obtained mercy. We are people that are, we did not obtain mercy before. We were filthy. We, come, you, we all know where we come from. We, they don't know God. They worship idol. But the blood of Jesus has washed us clean. He has set us free. And the Bible was telling us that when you were washed and set free by the blood of Jesus, all you need to do is eat in you. It is there you can be called a child of God. Verse 5 said, He said, Mortify therefore your members which are upon the earth, fornication, uncleanness, inordinate affection, evil corruptions, and covetousness, which is idolatry. For which things sake the wrath of God comment on the side of disobedience. You see? He said, why do you, if you, if you continue in this way, why will you allow the wrath of God to come upon you? Because the Bible in Exodus 20 has tell us the commandment of God. And if you don't follow the commandment of God and you call yourself a Christian, and you go to church, and you, you worship together, we dance together. But at the same time, you've not given your heart, your life, your world, your conversation. If God dwells in you, the conversation that will be coming out from you will not be evil. It will be of God. People will benefit. It will feed people. It will make people it show that you are a child of God. First Peter 2, or 1 with reading 1, with reading 10, let us see verse 7. Verse 7 said, Unto you therefore which believe, he is precious, but unto them which is disobedient, the stone which the builder dis disallowed, the same is made the head of the corner. He said, Unto you therefore which believe, he is precious, but unto them you, are, you disobedient the word of God. You disobedient. You not do the will of God. You did not say, if, if you say you are a child of God, and you are not doing what the Lord say. What makes you to be a child of God? Tell us, what can we, what, how can we say you are a child of God when you did not, when the conversation that is coming out of you, they are not of God, they are not of Christ. They are, they, they are conversation that people cannot, ah, it is not of God. So, brethren, brethren, let us see Romans 6 verse 11. He said, Likewise reckon ye also yourself to be dead indeed unto sin, but alive unto God through Jesus Christ our Lord. He said, be dead to sin, be dead to sin, and unto God through Jesus Christ. Be alive unto God. How can you be dead to sin? To be dead to sin is to, is to, is, is, is to change your conversation, to change your way, to change your behaviors, to walk through what the, to, 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 to do the will of God. That is when you can be closer to God. That is when you can change your way. Say when you, when you put off all those old things, all old things, which you were before, before the, the blood of Jesus Christ washed you. What are the old things? That is our father, our, they, they, they worship idols. They don't know God, but the blood of Jesus has washed you, washed me away and cleansed us. You don't need to go back to the way of idol. Let us walk in the will of God. Let us once see, uh, let us see uh, 1 Peter 
Let's see First Peter, the same chapter 2, verse 20. Verse 20. Let us read verse 20. Verse 20 says, For what glory is it? If when ye be buffet for your, for your fault, ye shall take it patiently. But it when you do well and suffer for it, ye take it patiently. This is acceptable with God. Why should you be suffer? Why should, why should God punish you? Why should God leave you alone? Because if you are not doing the will of God, if you are not doing the will of God, God will, not, God will never be on your side. When you call yourself a Christian and you're, you are not walking the way of God, your conversation is still filtering. How can you say you are a child of God? How can you say God will fight for you? God will not come to you. God will not listen to you. Even in days of times of evil, uh, you will see that you will still be struggling. But when you change your way, your conversation, Jeremiah 6.10 said, Jeremiah 6, 10 said, To whom shall I speak and give warning, that they may hear? Behold, their eyes is uncircumcised, and they cannot hearken. Behold, the word of the Lord is unto them a reproach. They have no, they have no delight in it. You have no delight in the word of God. It's like a reproach because you did not do the will of God. You say you are a child of God. You say you are living a Christian life. But your ways, your behaviors does not show. Like we are saying, how can you say you are a child of God? Let us continue on Colossians chapter 3. It's verse, verse 7 say, Indeed, which ye also walk sometimes when ye live in, a, live in them. Verse 8 say, But now ye also put off all this anger. Verse 9 say, Lie, lie not one to another, seeing that ye have put off the old man which he, with his deed. Verse 10 say, I have put on the new man, which is the Christ, which is the renewed in knowledge, after the image of him that created him. Verse 11 say, Where there is neither Greek nor Jew, no separation, no difference between me, between everyone. We are one before Christ. Verse 12 say, Put on therefore as the elect of God, holy and beloved, bowers of mercy, kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness and long suffering. You see, put on all this mercy, loving kindness. Why should God cut you off? Why should you suffer? Why should God say, I don't know you at the end of your life? Why should you walk, and go, uh, walk in the house of God and by the time God come back to take his people and God will say, go away from me, you evil do, I don't know you. And you will say, but I go to church, but I worship, eh, but I, I serve, but I pay tithe, but I pay offering, but I give alms. And I, I give them to people. Even my pastor, my prophet, I dash their money. Even when I see people that is in it, I help them. And the Bible will still say, I, and God will still say, I don't know you. Why? Because you did not give your life. You did not walk in the way. He said your word is still fit tree. Let us see Ephesians, Ephesians 2.11. Ephesians 2.11 said, which reader? Wherefore, remember that ye have been in time past Gentile, in the flesh, without what God said we should do. If you are not in Christ, you are not in Christ. If you are not in Christ, you will be in crisis. We shall not be in crisis in the mighty name of Jesus. There is no other way except to be in Christ, so that we will not be in crisis. There is no other way except to walk in the will of God to do the will of God, to, to, to let the word of God dwell in us. Let us see Philippians 3, verse 12. Philippians 3, verse 12. It's in verse 12 said, Now as though I had already attained, either were already perfect, but I follow after if that I may apprehend that for which also I am present of Christ Jesus. He was saying that not that I have already attained it, but you have to strive to, so that you have to fight. It is not easy to work because Satan, the devil, will not allow you. But you have to try to attain, to strive, to fight it, to change it, to, to have a, a, a heart of God, a, a, a word of God to dwell in you, to be singing the word of God, 
to pray to God, when you see people, when you talk to them, when you pray to them, and let people begin to see Christ in you, not crisis in you. You see, it is the devil don't want the children of God. He, he said, let us, therefore, as many as be perfect, be thus minded. And if in anything ye be otherwise minded, God shall reveal even unto you. You see, God will now start to reveal his way to you. God will start to talk to you. God will start to live in you. Let us go back to our, 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 uh, our, our, let us go back to Colossians today, that where we, we, we come, uh, we are using the word of Colossians once again. Let's continue and see what the Bible says. It said, It said, Put on therefore as the light of God, holy and beloved, bowers of mercy, kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness, long suffering, forbearing one another, and forgiving one another. If any man have a quarrel against any, even as Christ forgive you, so also do ye. And above all these things, put on charity, which is the, the bond of, of perfectness. And let the peace of God rule in your heart, to the which also ye are called in one body, and, and be ye thankful. You see, if he say, let all this be in you, the heart of Christ. Let the heart of Christ be in you. How can the heart of Christ be in you if you did not if you did not give your heart, your life, your everything, if you did not allow God to, to dwell in you. If God dwell in you, you will change your ways. You will change your conversation, your communication. When people see you, they won't say, mm, please, so, ah, eh? I don't want to. If, uh, Romans 5, 8 says, but God commanded his love towards us in that where we were yet sinner." Christ died for us. When we were here, sinner, he died for us. Don't let the dead of God go in vain. Don't let the, 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 the dead on the cross, don't let it be in vain. Let people, let, let God be happy that, okay, I gave us, he gave us a, a beloved son. And let Christ be happy that I gave my life and I died for you. And then when you, let people see it in you. Let us war with God. Let us come together. Oh, even if I have, I will know. Don't say, uh, every, don't, don't have version in the house of God. Don't say, this, I'm, I'm not, uh, they have version. Uh, this version, this version, this version. In the house of God, this is not a way of Christian life. This is not a way of living a Christian life. This is not a way of God. The way of God is that we should do His way. We should walk, we should walk, walk and let people see us. And let people see that uh, we are we are Christ, we are children of God. That we are we are child of God. Why should you let people say through you and people continue to sin? Through you, people continue to sin against God. You make other people to sin. You know why? Because your character, your way, your words make other to sin. You five for sin. For you are sometimes the five, Ephesians five said. Five is say, for ye were sometimes darkness, but now are ye light in the Lord. Walk as children of light. Walk as a children of light, because God has taught you to lie. He has taken you from darkness, from the old, from our fathers who worship idol. We we no more worship idols. Up to now, we are still praying. Father, forgive us the sin of our forefather that is fighting against our glory, which they are not in light, they are in darkness. But the Christ, the blood of Christ has redeemed us from the, from the darkness to the light. He said, now let walk ye in the light. The light of God, let it shine in you. Let, 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 it, uh, let people see it and bring people to the light. Don't let people through you sin against God in, again. Ephesians 4.29 says, let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth. You see, let no corrupt communication of people coming out of your mouth uh, proceed out of your mouth, but that which is good to the use of edifying that it may minister grace unto the 
unto the era. The one that will edify the church, edify the member or to the era. When people see, do not let corrupt communication, all those words, all those acts, all those behaviors, do not let it come from you. All those corruption, the corrupt word that does not show that you are, you are the child of Christ. That people win, even when when people who are not a Christian, when they hear, when they see you say, when, or listen to all this God, they will say, you call yourself a Christian. You say you go to church. This even make people to say, why should I go to church? Why should I worship God? Look at those people that go to church. It's, it, let us read it again. Say, let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth. But that which is good to the use of edifying, edifying, that is to uplift the word of God, to edify your, your, your friend, your member when they are in problem. Let the word of God come out of richly that will lift them up, not the one that will make them that will make them to fall again or start to thinking, why do I come to church? Why do I be a member of this church? Why am I, why do I join them? Why? Do not let people continue to say, I don't want to be a member of that church or go to church again. Some people, they are not Christian in their life. They were not born as a Christian. But the first time they come, it is this evil corruption that makes them to run away, that look at them. Why should, I don't want to be in midst of them. I don't want to join them. I don't want people to see me with this kind of people. Let he said, let it edify and minister grace unto the era. Grace, let it be word that will lift people from their problem. That will help us life at YouTube, or you go to you can watch live at, and go to www.mysweetfm.com or tune in to tune in and search for my sweet sweetfm.com or call live at USA now. C zero five four seven five five eight four three or listen like and call life in UK right now O three O three two six double three five. Or you can listen live at radio right now at USA call C zero five four seven five five eight three or listen like or calling live radio at O three zero Double three two six double three five. You can test right now or call right now at O two O three five one nine seven six one one or O seven five 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 nine eight eight seven three nine. No extra cost for you to listen on UK or USA. Let us continue the word of God. Let us see Colossians three again. It said verse and above all these things. Put on charity, which is the bond of perfectness, and let the peace of God rule in your heart. To thee, which also ye are. When did you ever see someone go, going through some things, and you call them, and you read the Bible of God to them, and you teach them, you talk to them? When do you ever see your brother, your sister, your member grow through some things, and you don't laugh at them, you don't mock at them? You don't see their, their clothes. You, don't, you are the one that see. Look at her dressing. Look at the way she is. Yeah, she's. Did you ever call them and speak to them through the word of God? Do you edify them? Do you help them? Do you provide? Do you give from what you have? Do you see anyone that is going through something and you are the one that help them, even with the little you have? Uh, you, all you say this, uh, all I have is not even enough for me. How can I share it? Uh, let her go and do this thing. Do you even the word of God is enough for you to edify them when they are in problem? Do you call them and tell them, brethren, my sisters and brothers, oh, this thing, there's nothing God cannot do? Do you edify people? Do you talk to people in the in the Psalms or in Him? Do you pray together with people? Do you say do you call people and let's say let's pray together? There's nothing God cannot do. Did you do that? No. But all the communication that comes is filtry. All you do is to mock people. All you do is to laugh at them. All you do is to say, mm, please, it's not my business. It is your business because God has redeemed you. God has washed you. God has taken you from darkness. If God has done this to you, why can't you do this to your brother? Why can't you do this to your sister? Why can't you do it to your member? Why can't you do it to your enemy? And by the way, you don't have enemy in the house of God. We are one. Let us leave everybody. Leave judgments to God. Leave everyone to God. 
He leave everything. There's nothing our Lord cannot do. Do not judge others, like he said. He said, forgive one another. Yes, you, you have sinned against God, I've sinned against God. But still, he loves us and he forgives us. Why can't you forgive your brother, forgive your sister? Why do we look at uh, our mistakes? Why do we wash steps? Why do you wash your brother's step and I wash your step? Why do I have to come to the house of God and begin to say, mm, I, I, I wash my step, you wash my step. We cannot eat together. We cannot drink together. And we say we are living a Christian life. Is that a Christian life? Is that what God said we should be doing? Mm-hmm. First Peter two thirteen said, First Peter two thirteen said, it says, submit yourself to every ordinance of man for the Lord's sake, whether it be to the king or our supreme. Submit. Verse twelve says, having your conversation honest among the Gentiles, that whereas they speak against you as a evil doer. They may by your good work, by your good work, even when they gather, when they start to say, tick, uh, uh, say evil, when, when they even say a conversation against you, he said, but he said, whereas they speak against you as evil do, that they may your, your good work, by your good work, which they shall behold, glorify God in the day of visitation. You see, let your, let your way, your word, let it glorify God in the day of visitation. Even when people gather, when, when people gather against you and say, uh, uh, is this, is that. But he say in your good work, in your good conversation, your Lord will receive you. Your Lord will fight for you. Your Lord will, 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 will vindicate for you. But how can God fight for you? How can God vindicate for you when you are the one, you are the one that is doing the evil? You are the one that the conversation is as free and not using your liberty for a cloak of maliciousness, but as the servant of God. Honor all men, love the brotherhood, fear God, honor the king. Honor all men, love everyone, brotherhood, fear God. Honor the king. It's not just the king or the, the majesty. He honor everyone. Every, even little, young, how old, how small. Honor everyone. When people still let them say, oh my God. She's, if, if you see her, when she greets you, when you greet her, the word that come, the way she honors, she, she's so sweet, she's so nice, her character, her behavior. Though some people are like that, they cover her up. But not the cover-up that we want to say. We are not talking about the cover-up today. We were saying about the true Christian life, the way you should walk, the way you should do, the way you should let the word of God dwell in you richly to your brother, to your sister, to your neighbor, to, to friends. Let people come near you and see God in you and see that God is in you. Teach people in the word of God. Speak to people in the word of God. Pray with people in the word of God. Every manner of conversation, let it edify God in your life. Edify God in the life of the ministry, in the life of the church, in the midst of your family. Gather your children together. Teach them the way of God. Teach them the word of God. Teach them how to speak in the public, how to respect, how to honor people. You honor people. Let people see you. Walk in the way of God. Let your step in the house of God when you don't 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 step the floor as if the floor is, is mine. Walk gently in the presence of God. Let all us all do this, and you will see that the house of God will be a place that everyone will like to stay. Everyone will join hand together and we will edify, we will move church of God together. Not fighting in the house of God, not by biting the house of God, not fashion in the house of God. And you said you are a child of God. This does not edify the word of God. This does not live the word of God. The, the, the Bible says, if you want to live a Christian life, be ye holy as the, uh, in your conversation as our Lord is holy. If it did not be, if it is not holy and surrender his life unto, unto God to be used as the lamb to wash you, to deliver you from the darkness. You cannot be here today. I cannot be here today. The only way, it is the, the way, the cross. Don't let the cross go in vain. 
let us let us be partaker of the cross. It's not until you are nay on the cross, not that I'm nay on the cross, but you can nay your war, your life, your conversation, your way with the cross. Let that old man, let it be dead. Forget about that old man. Put off. You say put off. Put off all things. Those character where we grow from. Put them off. But put on the new God, new armor, way of God, life of God, a, a, a Christian life that people can see. That people can say, oh, truly a shadow. When people see Jesus Christ, they start to see God in him. And even his followers, the, 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 the disciples, this, even after the, the past of Jesus Christ, they, see, they start to see Christ in them. Let us see the life of, uh, of Peter. Look at how they suffer for Christ. And look at what come out of them. Even when they stone Phil, uh, they stone Philip to death, he still he say, "Father, forgive them, for they don't know what they are doing." Even our Lord Jesus said, "Forgive them, for they don't know what they are doing." If God can forgive you, why can't you forgive me? Why can't you forgive everyone that sin against you? Can't why can't we come together in the house of God and let us tell each other what you have done and let us forget about it immediately and let us come back. I cannot come to your house to eat. I will be afraid. You cannot hold food. I will be afraid. We are enemy. We are fighting when we say we are doing. All we do is to mock, to fight. To do. Why? Why? And you say we are a Christian. You are a living. We are living a Christian life. That's not, Christian life is not to come to church and fight. Christian life is not to come to church and mock. Christian life is not to come to church and buy bite. Christian life is not to come to church and start to uh, and, and start to go against each other. It is it is Christian life or house of God is not a place of settlement or fight. Come home, oh, oh my good child. If you did not do what God will say, what God say, how can God welcome you that day? Why the Bible say why should you the, why should you allow the right of God the wrath of God to come upon you because of your ways, because of my ways. So, children of the law, the, let us go back to the Bible. It says, uh, 1 Peter 3.18 said, 1 Peter 3.18. 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 1 Peter 3.18 said, it said, For God Christ also had one suffer for sins, the just for the unjust, that he might bring us to God, being put to death in the flesh, but quickened by the Spirit. He said, he said, for Christ also has one suffer for sin. He suffered for sin. He's not a sinner. The Bible says you know no sin. But for your sin and for my sin. If somebody has died and suffered for what he did not even do, he's not a sinner. But God said, I love you. I love the world. I love my children. I don't want you to die and perry. And he sent his begotten son. And he, he gave his life. Can anyone give his life even to our own children? We cannot give our life. I need my life. That is what people will say. So, if it's of God, the love of God, the Christ of God, let us walk in the way of God together in the house of God. In the house of God, in our family, within our friend. That is what that is what people can see in us. And then people will say, oh, you are a child of God. There's no way. There's no other way. There's no other way. There's no other way. It is the way of God. There's no other way. Galatians 6, 9 to 10. 6, 9 to 10. He said, And let us not be weary in wedding, for in this season we shall reap if we faint, we faint not. Do not let us be weary in doing good, in when doing, for this season we shall reap it. You will reap whatever you sow. Whatever you sow, you shall reap it. If you keep doing the good you are doing, and even when you are doing it, people are laughing at you, mocking you. They say, oh, he said, he said, keep doing it. Keep doing it. He said, you will soon reap it. I pray. That is where we come together and we say we are praying for one another, praying for our life, we pray for God. He said, let's do the again. He said, as we have there for opportunity, let's all do good unto all men, especially unto them who are of the household of faith. You see, when you are in the house of God, do good to each other in the household of faith. Where we say God live, God is in the tabernacle, God is in the altar, God is in the church. So let us do good, dear. If you don't do good, then how can we all say we are shy of God? How can we say we are we, we give our life to Christ? 
How can we say you, we are one? Let us continue on this. Say, and as many as, as walk according to the rule, peace be on them and mercy and upon the upon the Israel or children of God. You see, he said according this one said, if you continue to do good, and as many as walk according to this rule, that is to this rule that the Lord has laid to do good, to to to, to love to forgive all that, to show mercy, to let your conversation, let not it be, uh, uh, let it edify the work of God, the house of God, your mercy, it will be prosper. He said, there shall be no loss. By then, he said, nothing, no evil will befall on you. But when we, when we say we are Christian and we, we don't live the life of Christ, then we say, then we'll be complaining, we're running hectare and setter. Once more, uh, right now, you, I mean, FM Radio 97.5, you can watch live right now at YouTube or watch later live at YouTube. Right now, you can listen live. Go to www.mysweetfm.com or watch live to download, tune in, and search for www.mysweetfm.com. You can listen live and call in live in USA. C zero five four seven five five eight four three or in UK you can listen live by calling UK number zero double three zero double three two six double three five. You can call live to speak to me at O two O three five one nine seven six one one or call live on avail anything or on circumcision but a new creation. You see, you say God, you are a new creature in the Lord, because God has redeemed you. God has redeemed you, so you have you you are no more as uh, like your fathers or like your mothers in those days. We are we are children of the Lord now. We are we are in Christ. We are no more in crisis. We are no more in darkness. God has redeemed us. So let us all, from manners of our conversation. Let us change from all filthy word, all filthy word, all word that does not edify the word of God or edify human being that cannot lift up anyone, that cannot help your brother, that cannot help your sister. He said, change your way. He said, put on the armor of God. He said, if you do all this, he said, there will be peace, peace of God in your life, in your house, in your family, in your in the in the life of your children, he said there'll be peace. The mercy of God will be upon you. He said there shall be no loss. That's what the Bible said that are is. And let everyone that name the name of Christ depart from iniquity. He said depart from if if the name of Christ is upon you and and God know he is who belongs to him. You cannot mock God. You cannot lie. God knows everything. God sees your heart. God sees my heart. God sees my way. We can only lie to each other. We can mock each other. You can you can lie to your pastor. You can you can deceive people in the church and say I, I'm the most pray, uh, I know God. I know word of God. I know this thing. And people when they but in the Bible says you cannot lie to God. You cannot mock God. You cannot hide. God sees your heart. God you know your way. What is hidden to everyone is open to God. God. God sees everything. The secret thing belongs to God. There's nothing secret to God. What you do in the secret, God sees it. God knows it. So the Bible said, He said, He said again, He said, Nevertheless, the foundation of God standeth sure. Having this sin, the Lord knoweth them that are his. And let everyone that nameth the name of God cry, depart from iniquity. Depart from iniquity. But in a great house, they are speaking to you at Radio 97.5 FM live. Uh, you can watch right now live at YouTube or watch later. You can listen live right now or later. You go to www.mysweetfm.com or watch live by downloading, tuning, in and search for www.mysweetfm.com to listen live and calling in USA. C zero five four seven five five eight four three and listing live and calling in UK number zero double three zero double three two six double three five 
no extra call you can call right now 020-3519-7611 or call or test live 07555-988-739 for prayer or for question for anything once more uh we thank god we are here again we give glory to god for listening to the word of god the psalms and in and spiritual song singing with grace in your heart to the lord singing in grace forget about what you are passing through singing is grace to god in psalms and in him edify order praise god all the time thank god let the word of god dwell in you richly let the word of god come out of you richly edify your people do not let people fall don't let people fall through you don't let people fall through your conversation don't let people go away from the house of god through your character through your behaviors don't let people said i'm not going to worship god because of you do not drive away people from the house of god do not let people that have problem run at and scatter because of what you have done to them look at what uh, psalm 28 verse 3 says say, draw me not away with the wicked and with the workers of iniquity which speak, speak to their neighbor but mischief is in their heart you see Mis they, they talk evil they, they talk about the mischief in their heart he said depart from all these things let God dwell in you richly. Crucify the flesh with the affection and loss. You have to crucify the, the flesh with the affection of loss. Crucify your flesh with the cross of God. Anything that will make you lose the glory, that will make you not go with Christ, crucify it now, right now, to the cross as God has crucified our sin on the cross. Crucify everything, every loss, the loss of this world, your ways. Crucify everything right now to the cross so that God of mercy will not leave you alone. He will continue to be with us in the mighty name of Jesus. Father Lord, we thank you for today, another Tuesday, for your word. We thank you for teaching us your way, teaching us to know you in this ministry because this ministry is based on the word of god how to edify people to help people to lift people to bring people to god to let people know god so to your family that no evil will fall upon you i continue to pray for you in my prayer and do not forget to watch on youtube live right now or after and do not forget to join me next week tuesday 6.30 to 7.30 p.m. on Radio 97.5 FM at www.mysweetfm.com God be with you all in the mighty name of Jesus. And I use this opportunity to, to say I use this opportunity to tell you that if you want to help the work of, work of God, you want to do the work uh, to edify the word of, work of God, we, was, we want this program to go on television because people want to watch. They are asking me, why can't we go on television program? People say, we love this program. And I say, yes, we, I like to go on television if you help the work of God. If you wish to help the work of God and you want to sponsor this program to go on television so that it can, so that the, it can reach the whole world. Even some people cannot go on radio or download YouTube maybe due to their age or due to where they are, but they can watch television in the whole world. So if you want to help the work of God and you want this program to go on television, please, you can call my number 74 I repeat, 74 Also, we were looking for a place of worshiping as you help the work of God. It shall be well with you in the mighty name of Jesus. Check out the baddest radio station we on the planet, MySweetFM.com. Great music and, and we shall meet in peace next week in the mighty name of Jesus Christ.
Check out the baddest radio station on the planet, MySweetFM.com. Great music and programs 24 hours a day. Listen to my program, Ancient of Days Outreach Bible Ministry, by Deaconess Juliet Amos at MySweetFM.com every Tuesday from 6.30 to 7.30 p.m. To listen live in the U.S., call 605-475-5848. In the U.K., call 0330-3326-335 or at 97.5 FM that you can download on iTunes. Just search for My Sweet FM. To speak to me live, call 020-351-97611 and 07-555-988-739 to text me at 6077. You love Jesus, you love God. You're locked into My Sweet FM on MySweetFM.com. Great music, great entertainment, 24 hours a day. You are listening to MySweetFM.com. You are listening to MySweetFM.com.